Today I want to show you how to use conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. Let's begin the work. Conditional formatting allows you to format cells based on certain conditions or criteria. Instead of manually formatting cells based on their values, you can set up rules that automatically apply formatting when specific conditions are met. Now, Conditional formatting is a valuable tool that you could use to visualize your data and to see trends and patterns in your data. It might sound a little horrific, but it's really not. Let's jump into it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, well, so how can you work with conditional formatting? Well, let's say that I am a teacher in school and let's say that I just recently had everyone take a test on, um, I don't know, maybe on Excel. And so these are all the grades that came back. We have some people who performed well and others who didn't perform so well, of course. If I were the teacher, I would expect all the grades to be a little higher, but that's fine. We are just doing this as an example. So let's say I have all these grades and I want to see who performed below 80. So what I could do is you have this button up here under the home tab called conditional formatting. If you click over it, you will see what it does. So once again, you can see trends and patterns in your data. And so let's click on that and let's try it out. The first item we see here is the highlight cell rule. And what I could do is you see options like greater than. So if the value is greater than something, you can highlight it. If it's less than something, you can highlight it. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to see people who scored below 80. So I'm going to click on this option. And what I want to do is let's say if they scored below 80. So I'll type in their 80. And what I could do then is I can format the text in different ways. So I could make the font color white and uh, fill red. We are not going to do a green because it's not a good thing when you get a low score on a test. So we are going to go with the red, but I can also do red text, red border. I could also do custom formatting. So let's say I wanted to make it bold. I wanted to highlight, you know, pretty much anything I want to format it with. I could do within this view, but uh, I am going to cancel that and come back to here. And I like that the red fill. Now you will see all these people. So Lucy, she got a 51. She was not working hard clearly. And Sam, I don't know what to do with him. He was working really hard, but didn't make it to 80. And Paul, he doesn't really seem to care that much. And so you can see how the data gets highlighted here. So very quickly, I could see who's struggling in my class. Now we are going to go on to this next data. Uh, let's say that I run a cafe and I had customer recently submit reviews on the food. You know, some people love the food. It's great. Awesome. But other people didn't like the food. Someone said that uh, the tea doesn't taste like tea. All right. We might need to taste that tea. Hmm. So what I am going to do is let's highlight all the dates and I'm going to go back to conditional formatting highlight cell rule. And here you can see a date occurring. So let's say that I want to read all the reviews from customer within the last month. So I just want to see recent data. I can click here and here you see all these different views. And once again, I could format how I want to format it. So this isn't necessarily a bad thing that's been in the last week. So I'm just going to go with the let's uh, just go with the yellow one. So I'll click OK. And then here you can see that, wow, I have some different conflicting uh, point of view. One person said that they loved my strawberry shake. And uh, the other person said the tea didn't taste like tea. I don't know what's going on in my kitchen. And I'll have to talk to my staff there. But here very quickly, I could just see what all my most uh, recent feedback was thanks to conditional formatting. The next thing I want to do is let's say I have all these students in my class. I typed this list when I was sleepy at night and I might have typed in some duplicate values. How can I get rid of the duplicate without going through the list one by one? What I can do is once again, conditional formatting. I'll click on highlight cells and there's something called duplicate values. 
So I'm gonna click on duplicate values. And here I'm able to see which names are duplicate. So I can make a change here now. I can delete those and get rid of them. Okay, so now let's see what else we can do with conditional formatting. I can go again here on conditional formatting and they also have something called top bottom rule. And I want to see the top 10% and we can also see the bottom 10% above average and below average. I uh, do not have a large data. So almost all of the content is showing, but it's really useful tool when you have a large set of data. Okay, so now let's quickly see these data bars. You can see how these bars correspond with the value of the test marks. I can also do this color scale. Here you can see who caught the highest and who caught the lowest very quickly. And then they also have these icon sets. I could do with the arrows, shapes or ratings. Then there is a thing called new rule to make new rules. This is now giving you even more power to visualize your data. Here you can see format cells based on values. I could say the highest values and the lowest values, a number, a formula. So you can define what you are looking for and then format it in a different way. So there are a lot of powerful things you can do with conditional formatting to be able to visualize and see pattern of your data. One last thing, if you want to remove all of these rules, or you want to remove rules from certain cells, you can go here and click on clear rules. You will be able to see these two options. Click here to remove all of the rules from your sheet or select certain set of cells to remove rules from them. Okay, so this was a very quick overview and a few fun scenarios that you could use to be able to spot different trends in your data. I suggest you practice these things on your Excel sheet Make an Excel sheet with some fictional data and practice these fictional formatting rules. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit that like button and leave a comment on what my next tutorial should be on. Feel free to visit our channel to learn more. See you next time.